making symmetric figures and patterns. In this lesson, you will learn to create symmetric figures and patterns. Did you know that you can create your own symmetric figures easily? Let's try it out. Recall what makes a figure symmetric. When folded in half along a line of symmetry, the two halves will match each other perfectly. Or in other words, the line of symmetry will divide the figure in two exact halves. Knowing this, we can create our own symmetric figure by first folding a piece of paper into halves. Then we cut a pattern out of the folded piece. You will find that when we unfold the paper cut out, a symmetric figure has been created. So a symmetric figure can be created by folding a piece of paper into halves, cutting a pattern out of the folded piece, then unfolding the paper cut out. You already know that a symmetric figure is one that can be divided into two equal halves by a line of symmetry. Did you know that such figures can themselves be used to form larger symmetric patterns? Let's take a look at an example. By combining two diamond figures, we can form a new pattern that is symmetric. We can even form complicated patterns that use a number of the same figure, like this. You will find that such patterns also have their own lines of symmetry. This pattern has a vertical and a horizontal line of symmetry. Which of these patterns do you think was formed by symmetric shapes and has at least one line of symmetry? That's right! Pattern 1 and 3 are symmetric patterns formed by symmetric figures. In pattern 2, this figure is not symmetric. Hence, the pattern is not a symmetric one. In this lesson, you have learned to create symmetric figures and patterns.